an interesting relationship between the, the physical, the mental, and the emotional uh, aspects of games. Usually emotion in games is brought in to kind of heighten what's already there. It is rare that the emotions that are involved in a game have a lot to do with winning or losing the game. Um, it, at least they don't, it's not like the emotions will, will necessarily help you. In fact, a lot of times they can get in your way in some games. You get too frustrated, you're too upset, you can't think straight, for example. Um, but emotions are like a kind of uh, seasoning in the game. They can make you care more, um, whether maybe it's emotions about a particular storyline, a, a character you particularly care about and you want to help and protect, or a character you're mad at and you want to get, get revenge on them for, for some, something they did, or uh, other times it involves you know, emotions with other, other players. Most of the time when people talk about their most memorable game experiences, they're the most emotional game experiences they've had. So I think emotional experience is something that game designers strive toward. Um, and and it's, it's part of what makes game design very exciting to get to play in that space.